<laughs> no, I weren't expecting this. Oh my God. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing good. So for today's video, it's so funny because I actually forgot that I purchased these. I purchased these two pound lipsticks last year and um, yeah, they've just been sitting in the box basically because I was supposed to film this video last year. But anyway, we are here, we are ready. The lipstick is still here, it's present. Okay, so we are going to test it. So, the lipsticks that I'm going to be testing. So I got them from Beauty Bay. And they are by Wet n Wild. So like I said, these lipsticks were only two pounds. Um, I have done other videos like this. I've done uh, one pound 50 lipsticks and I've also done three pound lipsticks. So we've got an in-between with these ones. So we're gonna see how they look, how they swatch, how they feel on the lips. I'm gonna be basically giving you the lowdown on whether these are quality or not. So let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so I don't have anything on my lips. I had a bit of Carmex, but nothing on the lips. So let's begin. I'm trying to think which. All right, do you know what? I'm going to put them back in the bag, and basically, I'm just going to pick at random. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's open this. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Obviously it says wet and wild on it. And this color is in the, this is in the shade Breeze. Breeze, ocean breeze. And this is what the color looks like. If you hear banging in the background, um, my neighbor's getting some, well, not my actual neighbor, but someone's getting work done outside. Yeah, and they're making a lot of noise, so. Okay, so these lipsticks, they are a silk finish lipstick, so they're not matte. Um, and this one, Breeze, it's described as a soft beige nude. So let's pop this on the lips and see what it's looking like. Should I put lip liner? No. We'll leave the lip liner for now and see what happens. Feels good, feels quite soft. One thing I will say that is a little bit annoying, it's probably not that big a deal to like other people, but to me I'm like Meh. So as you can see, the lid is a certain shape, so it goes a bit more rounded at the front. And when you put the lid on, it has to be in that shape otherwise you can't close it, which to me, I'm just like, why don't you just make it the same shape all the way around? It would just make it easier. Just my opinion. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so this is what it looks like. And do you know what? I actually really like it. I think this is a really nice, just like day-to-day, day-to-day like nude lipstick. So if you don't want to, you know, be like over the top of your lip, this is just a really nice, just like, silky, shimmery lipstick to go for, as you can see. I actually really, really like this. And as you know what, when I... <laughs> it doesn't have a weird scent. It just smells like lipstick. Um, when I first opened it, I did think to myself, this lipstick kind of reminds me of um, the lipsticks that I would find in my grandma's house like 20 years ago when I was going through her stuff basically like this is the kind of lipstick that I envisioned my granny wearing to church <laughs> like looking at it in the actual packaging but on the lip I think it looks really really nice oh my gosh I'm actually pleasantly surprised I didn't think I was gonna like this oh okay no I actually really really like this <laughs> Okay, so let me get my wipes. I'm gonna wipe this bad boy off. Comes off easily. Obviously it's a silk lipstick, so it should. And then I just like to dab to make sure that none of my makeup has disappeared around my mouth. 
Okay, so, so far so good. That is Breeze, so let me throw that over there. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Why do they make lipstick so difficult to open? Like, whoa. Okay, so this color is called Just Garnet. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Just Garnet. And as you can see, it's this kind of like ready, ready kind of color. I can't lie, this kind of red to me looks quite cheap. I don't know why, but it does. Let's see what it's described as on the website. Okay, this is described, oh. This is described as a dark reddish pink. Okay, do you know what? That does actually make sense. Um, yeah, let's pop it on and see, see what I want. <laughs> uh, I don't like it already. Yeah, I knew that I definitely was not going to like this. Um, it's this like weird, it's red, but you can see it's got like little shimmers of pink in it. And like I said, I feel like it just looks quite cheap. It looks like the lipsticks that like, I don't know, you would give like a child to like play with. It doesn't look like it's of good quality. And I think it's because of the color. And I think it's because of the, um, the texture of it as well. The fact that it's like a silk lipstick. I don't know why, but silk lipsticks just make me feel, it gives me like old school, old school vibes. I'm not really sure why, but yeah, with this little shimmer of pink that it's got going on, it's a nail from me. This one is not nice, so just go on it, just go, basically, okay? Just go. <laughs> oh, it's just so ugly, yuck. Let's move on. Ooh, let's open this bad boy up. So this, hmm, oh, oh, I was about to say, I thought it was broken. There we go. So this, as you can see, is a really nice like purple. And this is called Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. So yeah, it's got a hint of like blue in it basically. So let's see what it's described as on the website. This is described, <laughs> what? This is described as a blue toned pink. Okay. The only thing is these don't, lock like you know some lipsticks you can put it up like a little bit and then it'll stay there you put it up a little bit and it'll stay there this one is just like <laughs> if you understand what that means because i don't even know what that means okay let's pop this blue toned pink on <sighs> oh no oh no this is definitely giving me auntie going to church vibes. I feel like it's not showing up on the camera properly, but in my mirror, this looks very blue. Like very blue. It's definitely auntie going to church vibes, but I feel like it looks, I don't know. Why do I like it? <laughs> why do I like it? This is so just like auntie chic. Hmm. I feel like this would look good in like an editorial shoot. I don't know why, I just think that. But um, yeah, it, it look, honestly guys, it looks really, really blue, but you guys just can't see it and it's making me sad. Hold on, let me zoom in. Oh, you can see it a little bit. No, why do I like it, please? <laughs> Makes no sense. There's something about it that I do actually really like and I can't put my finger on it, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. No, I feel like this is staining my lip. Can you see that? Like it's not coming off. Right, let's move on. We have uh, blushing, blushing barley. I thought my eyes were deceiving me. Okay, let's open this one up. Okay, so this is what blushing barley looks like. Blushing barley. And let's see what it's described as. 
So this is described as a coral toned pink. So like an orangey pinky kind of color. So let's pop this on. Yeah, I can't really explain why, but I just feel like it looks weird. Um, Okay, maybe I was over-exaggerating. I'm a bit of a drama queen sometimes. It doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Again, this is just a very like toned down, everyday kind of vibe, everyday kind of lipstick where you don't wanna be like over the top. But saying that, I feel like with the fact that it's got a bit of shimmer in it, I feel like this would look really good as a topper for a, um, a matte lipstick, for example. But um yeah again like i said these are silk lipsticks so obviously they are supposed to look <laughs> like this they're not supposed to be like matte basically yeah i think it looks okay i don't know whether i would wear this all the time but i mean two pounds would you wear it oh no i feel like i like it now like really really like it <laughs> i'm such an idiot okay let's move on so as you can see my lips are going through the walls right now and look very, very red. So these lipsticks are somewhat staining my lips. Okay, what have we got next? Oh, I'm not supposed to look, sorry. the same colours. No, I'm not doing that one yet. I got it again. Do you know what? I'm just going to pick this one. <laughs> Let's switch it up a bit, shall we? So this one's called What's Up, Duck? And uh, how come that one opened so perfectly and then the rest of them are just stressing me out? Okay, so What's Up, Duck? Who used to say that? What's up, Duck? What's up, dark? Some cartoon. Okay, so this is described as a bright cherry red. Right. Oh, lips are so tender right now. So tender and crispy. Okay, I'm just put this on. I feel like this is gonna look dead. Oh my God, my lips are so dry. Sometimes my lips really stress me out, like, Sometimes lipstick just doesn't apply to them properly. And I'm like, why? Just do as you're told. Let's discuss what's up, duck. Duck. What's up, doc? What's up, doc? Okay, so as you can see, it was described as a bright cherry. What was it described as? Bright cherry red. Um, I would say that this is definitely not a cherry red. Oh, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> I don't know where they got red from. This is definitely not red. I think because my lips are so dry, it wasn't applying properly. So <laughs> my bad with my dry lips. However, I do think that this looks really, really good. And I think this might actually be my favorite color. Yes. What's up, Doc? You're, you're winning right now. You are winning. I just feel like the colour's really, really nice. It suits my skin tone. It's not over the top. Yeah, it's just really, really nice. Like, it's just nice. It doesn't feel as silky as it did, the other ones did, but I think that is genuinely because my lips are dry from where I've been like, you know, wiping off my whole existence <laughs> with this flipping wipe. So yeah, that's probably why. No, I actually really like this, guys. Are you seeing this? Oh, it looks so good. And obviously the fact that this was two pounds, we're not expecting, you know, magic. We're not expecting the world, but it looks really, really good. This is such a lovely color. Definitely not cherry red, but all in all, a really, really nice color. I really, really like this one. Oh my God. Okay, so just a heads up, these definitely do stain your lips. Let's put some Carmex back on. All I need in life is my Carmex. 
Okay, let's go to the next one now. Ooh, <laughs> this one is called Dark Wine. Dark Wine. Okay, um, this is what Dark Wine looks like. It doesn't look as shimmery as the other ones, which is quite interesting. Hmm. Okay, okay. It's described as a deep red, so yeah, I would say deep red moving into, you know, the brown section. Brown. But um, yeah, let's pop this one on. I definitely still have loads of lipstick still on my lips. It's just not coming off. Okay, dark wine, dark wine. All I need in this lifetime, dark wine. Guys, hello. Are you seeing this dark wine? Mmm. Okay, so I really like this one. And I think the main reason why I like it is because it's not as shimmery, okay? It's not as shimmery as the other little churchy vibes that we had going on over there. This is literally a lipstick that I know that I would get a lot of wear out of. This is really, really nice. It feels really soft on the lips, but I don't know whether that's because, you know, I just went in with the Carmex, but all in all this feels really good this looks really good and i think because of the um because of the color firstly and because of the fact that there's less shimmer i feel like it doesn't look as cheap so yeah this is definitely the one that you want to get if you don't want all that shimmer 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 ya ya stuff that was going on with the other ones basically i like it i like it a lot Okay, right, let's take this one off. Little hack for you, if you're ever wiping off your lipstick to like reapply it or you just wanna wipe it off and you feel like your makeup has like gone funny around your mouth, just get your powder brush. Don't put any product on it, but just use that and that will help to, I don't know what it does, but <laughs> it just makes it look normal again, basically. I oh, don't know why, it just does. Dark wine, you're good. So let's move on to Dark Pink Frost. Oh. Again, with the shimmer, this is giving me church vibes. This is giving me cheap, you know, cheap um, lipsticks that you buy from the chemist. <laughs> so this, yeah, this is definitely frosty. Look at that, Frosty the Flipping Snowman. Um, so this one, Dark pink frost is described as a dusty pink. Dusty? Okay, what, did, what did they say on that show? Because you look dusty. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, let's try out dark pink frost. Mm hmm. No, this is cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is so funny. Cause literally when I saw this one, I was like, you, yeah, me and you, we're gonna have beef. But look at it. This is really, really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, no, I'm actually gobsmacked. I'm actually shocked. Let's zoom in. This definitely is a lipstick topper, okay? It looks good by itself, but I feel like this will really come to life on top of another lipstick. But this is really nice. I'm really surprised. Honestly, I'm shocked. I never expected it. No, seriously, this is proper nice. Okay. That pink fuss, that pink fuss, I see you. This actually looks really, really good. I'm impressed. I must say, I am impressed. No, that's proper cute, man. Proper tings them. Next up, we have, oh shit. Oh, it was this one that I was scared of, not the last one. This is <laughs> pink ice, bruh. Mm. 
What in the lipstick for five-year-olds is this? Look at it. <laughs> so ugly. Okay, so this is described as... Um, oh shit, what is it called again? Pink sign. Pink ice. Light rose pink. That is what it's described as. No, you're just ugly. <laughs> oh my god. This is giving me Barbie. Hi, I'm Barbie. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I always like the ones that I was cussing at the start? <laughs> Actually, no, I'm lying. I don't really like it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Again, I feel like this would look good as a lipstick topper, not necessarily just a lipstick by itself. I don't know. It's giving me, again, it's giving me cheap vibes because of that like weird shimmer that it's got going on. It's not like a nice one like the one before. This does just look very, very cheap. But this on top of a matte pink lipstick, I think it could work. I think it could work. Look how stained. <sighs> stained up, boy. My lips are literally red. Okay, so we are on to the last one now. Thank God. Because my lips need a break. <laughs> they need to go eat their lunch. They need to go, you know, have some coffee. They are tired. Okay, so the last one is called Blind Date. Dun, 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 dun. Do you remember that with um oh what did they say at the beginning your host missilla black <laughs> no i weren't expecting this oh my god i was not expecting this okay blind date let's see what your describe does okay this is just this is described as a deep pink and that was a lie who are you lying to? To me, this looks brown. Look brown to you? Look brown to me? I'm done with the descriptions on the website because they just chat shit. <laughs> anyway, let's put this last one on. See what it looks like. Didn't we already try this one on? With the other one. It looks the same. This happens in all my lipstick videos. There's always two that basically just look the same. So this one looks the same as, so dark wine and blind date basically look the same. Oh, that's dark wine, okay. So let's talk about blind date now. Um, again, it doesn't really have that like shimmer to it like the other ones. And this is, what did they describe it as? A dark pink? A deep pink. To me, this is not pink. I would say that this is a, like a dark red, like, dark red? Red? Brown? Brown. Yeah, I just feel like it's not pink at all. Doesn't have any pink hints to it or, I don't know, but that's what they described it as. Anyway, um, yeah, it's okay. I'm not loving it. I'm not you know, about to go and do some flipping somersaults about it, I'll tell you that. But it looks okay. And again, for two pounds, we weren't expecting the world. We weren't expecting too much, but this, this is okay. For two quid, this is okay. It's funny, cause I feel like this makes me look grown. I feel like I look like a mum of four. <laughs> like I've been married for like 20 years. I've got four kids. The eldest is about to go to uni. That is what I look <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, this definitely makes me look older than what I actually am. I'm 30, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's okay. I don't think I would wear this out on a day-to-day -day basis, but 
it's okay it's two pounds okay then guys so that is the end of the video that is the end of all these swatches so did wet and wild do their thing with these two pound lipsticks let me know what you think in the comments down below um i would say that it was very much like hit and miss some of them were nice some of them were not that nice <laughs> some of them were okay and um to be honest i feel like the majority of the shimmer ones could just be lipstick toppers for other lipsticks. But like I said, for two pounds, they kind of do what they need to do. And that's all that I can say really. But um, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well, guys, so that you don't miss any of my forthcoming videos. You can also find me on Instagram at fashion and face. But yes, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.